I'm going to start this video out different from what I normally do. This is a pattern I found in a book, a Scandinavian pattern book, or at least the, the, the patterns are Scandinavian, not the book. But anyway, uh, I saw this. I've never seen this before. It's a very interesting technique. Gets some very unusual look. So I'm gonna, I've never cut one of these before, and this is going to be the first time for me, and hopefully for a lot of other people looking. Who knows? But uh, we're going to try this out right here. And what it is, you cut these, and then you spread them apart and glue them, and you get with this uh, repeating pattern uh, and a very unique-looking design. And uh, if this works, I'll, I'll show you what else I've made with it and then show you how I made them. But you get to ride along with me here as I try this out for the very first time. So here it goes. Now I have a number seven blade in because this is a very thick and dense piece of wood. And I want a little bit of material taken out of those lines to make a, a little better spread on it. Well, that was a success, at least I'm going to call it a success. You see, this is what the goal is, to look somewhat like that, and I believe I did. I like the way that turns out, but uh, with everything that you try new, there's a learning curve, and I learned two things right here. I believe in the future, when I cut these, I'm going to get an even, that was a number seven, I'll use a nine or maybe even a twelve. And I will choose a wood that's less dense because that was a very difficult cut and the blade was beginning to dull and uh, was grabbing pretty good there at the end. So, uh, if I get a less dense wood because it was very difficult to move these down enough to get the gap here. Uh, they would just barely fit through there and you had to, to spread this out a little bit. And this wood was very difficult to spread. I had to get in there actually with a screwdriver and kind of pry that down and then I super glued it. Now I used wood glue on this outer one. But again, it worked. Uh, that's a learning experience. I would use a larger blade to get a little more curve, especially in a more dense wood. Now what I got to do, I cut a little, a small little platform here. I'm supposed to trim these off even across here and then glue it on that platform so it stands up. So let me draw a line across there and I'll cut those and maybe sand them a little bit to make them as straight as I can and then I'll glue it on this, this little platform and uh, that'll, that part will be finished and then I'll show you the other items that I'm making with this. So these are the items that uh, the authors made in this book with this particular method of cutting, like he called it, unique parallel cuts. And uh, what you got here is a little flower, it's on an eighth inch dowel. I haven't glued that, I've just kind of stuck it on, it's kind of for uh, demonstration purposes. I may finish that up a little later right now, I just want to show what, what could be done with this, and that's a hanging ornament. Uh, and then got the little bird, that's the original thing that I cut out. And then we have this, he called it a, a candle tower. 
whatever you want to call it. It's made for holding a candle. He had a nail in the center of it to uh, hold a large candle on. But my wife makes candles in a jar, and that, that holds a candle, a jar candle, perfectly. Anyway, that's the uh, 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 items that he makes with these. And I'll show you how I made these. Uh, this one gave me some problems because this piece right here is supposed to have a 60 degree cut and uh, my, my saw will only go to 50. Uh, so I cut it at 50 and then uh, sanded these a little bit and, and glued them on. Uh, I made it work. So anyway, you got to learn how to adapt when something doesn't, you have a different tool or whatever. So that's what I did on that one. So we'll look at the patterns for these and uh, and show how I cut them and, and put them together. So if this video is working correctly and I was able to do it the way I want to and edit it the way I want to, you've already seen me cut this. And that's going to be the first time I've tried this technique, this pattern style. So we'll, you'll watch me do that for the first time and if it doesn't work, you probably won't see this if you understand what I'm saying. If you're seeing it, then it worked, and I, I think it was worth the effort. But I got that little, these little patterns and these projects out of this book called Scroll Saw Scandinavian uh, Patterns and Projects. And Patrick Spielman, and uh, he teamed up with a guy called Gusta Dahlquist, and I probably mispronounced that as, a, as an old East Texan uh, a baby boomer. I'm not great with the foreign names, but anyway, uh, that's that's several interesting patterns in that projects and patterns in that book, um, and they're mostly fret work and very unusual things. Um, of course, anything from Patrick Spillman is pretty old-fashioned. He's been gone for 20 years or so, but he had excellent patterns, and I've done a lot of them. They're just uh, old-fashioned by today's standards. Anyway, these four projects here, hopefully you've seen me cut the bird at this point, and that worked. If it didn't work, you're probably not seeing this right now. And we got a drilled his eye out already. And we got this hanging ornament out of a piece of quarter inch. I believe it's cherry. I uh, already drilled the hole for that. And we got this little flower. I just want to try all these out because these were all in, in one page. I drilled the hole for the stem that goes with that for an eighth inch dowel. Then we got these six uh, pieces, this decorative pieces that hold up this platform for the candle holder. And that's got to be cut at a 60 degree angle. And these, the tip of it has to be angled once I get them cut out. I think a 30 degree angle. I'll have to double check that. Then that's the reason I have the book right here. So hopefully you've already seen me cut this bird and that it worked properly. Uh, you may not have seen it finished at this point yet, but at least I cut that, got that cut hopefully and, and made it spread out and look like it's supposed to. So if you've already seen that, then we'll get to cutting these other pieces and uh, putting this together. It's, there's not a lot of parts to do. This is just a matter of, it's a matter of gluing, spreading these things and gluing them and uh, mounting them however you're going to mount them. Those, that one has a string and the other one has a has a dowel to hold it. And then these have to go together to make a candle a holder. I don't think he calls it that. It's called a candle tower, I believe is what he calls it. But anyway, uh, we'll move forward and, and cut this out and try to put it together. Now this is poplar and this is poplar and these others, I don't know, that's a real, real dense hardwood. I may have trouble cutting that, but hopefully by now, as you're hearing this, I've already cut it. And these others, I believe that's a piece of ash. And like I said, the other one, I believe was cherry or something like that. Now, a lot of this is scrap stuff left over, and I'm not 100% sure what it all is. So, okay, let me get to the scroll saw and start cutting this. And I got, like I said, I got to tilt the bed to cut this. I'll probably do that last so I don't get... Uh, up and down angle messed up on the rest of them. So here we go. Cut them out and see if we can get it put together, make it look like something.
I've got all these, these six sets cut out. <clears throat> I have cleaned them up on the uh, sander. Got all the fuzzies off of them, cleaned them up. And I've cut that 30 degree angle. I'll use my little gauge here to mark those and then I just cut them on the scroll saw. I originally thought I might just sand them off. I thought, well, let me try to cut them and it worked out okay. So, uh, yeah, I still have a mark there, but that's going to be glued to the bottom of the uh, base. So I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, what I've got left to do is I've got to glue these. I've got to pull these out and glue them like that. And then I've got to cut the base and then I've got to cut it at a I'll have to double check on that, a 60 degree angle. So let me glue, glue these real quick. They can be sitting while they, I'm cutting the base. That wraps up this video, a little demonstration of a technique, a technique I picked up in an old book. Uh, something I'm going to use again, you may see in the future. Uh, got my creative juices flowing and how I can incorporate this design, and not necessarily in these specific configurations, but it's got me thinking about some other things. So uh, hopefully you'll see this, I'll get my, my thinking cap on and I'll put this into some other my own designs and come up with something a little different, a little unique. So thanks for watching. If you, hit, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video.